he's looking to do things for you and if you'll worship him he'll begin to do things for you why would I this is the question why would I choose to be Holy Ghost only or to follow that particular kind of faith and so I'm gonna answer that question as much as possible why would I want to be Holy Ghost only well out of all the other faiths that you could choose to be and it is your choice you can choose to be anything you want to be you can make a choice to be you know a Baptist or or a charismatic you can make you can make a choice to do whatever you want to do why would I want to be Holy Ghost only well first and foremost he the Holy Ghost is the only God in the earth today if you're gonna walk with God you, you have to walk with a real God it can't be a fiction God it can't be imaginary it can't just be a religion you can do that but if you really want to walk with God who is a living God the true and living God there's only one true and living God in the earth and his name is the Holy Ghost he's the one Jesus sent he's the only one who's really a God some of these other gods they're not gods. lots of them are just devils trying to act like God and so if you have a false prophet uh, teaching about a, a, a devil who's acting like God well then you don't want to follow that you want to follow the true true and living God why would you want to follow a living God because a living God one that is alive one that is real one that is in the earth today is the only kind of God that's gonna be able to do anything for you a statue or a dead God isn't gonna be able to do anything for you you need a true and living God one who is alive and active in the earth today if you want him to do something for you according to the Bible those that say they're gods and are not aren't really gods at all they're false or they're dead Muhammad's dead Confucius is dead Buddha is dead we serve a living God now Jesus he was raised from the dead but then he sent another and the another is the Holy Ghost and I you know I, I really don't have time within these 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 short meetings to expound upon all the things that I've already talked about before you can just go and look down below here at some of those other links and they will take you to other questions that you may have but it takes a true and living God to actually do something for you so why would I choose to be Holy Ghost only why would I choose the faith of Holy Ghost only because I'm choosing a faith that has a God who will actually do something for me wouldn't that be great well we're serving a living God a true and living God meaning he's alive which and he does things for us why do we serve him because he does things for us well number one because he's God and we're supposed to worship God and he's the true God and then we he does things for us let's look at first Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God so here we're commanded in the Bible in the New Testament to trust in a living God trust in the living God there's only one living God one who's alive and in the earth today which I have covered uh, very well on other videos you understand but so here we're we're commanded to trust or have faith in the living God well as I've told you repeatedly the Holy Ghost is the only God part of the Godhead of Father Son and Holy Ghost he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today so he's the only one that we can trust in as the living God other scriptures that I've gone over uh, call him the living God what no no you're not that your body's the temple of the living God who is in you who's the living God the Holy Ghost who's in you so we're supposed to according to here we're supposed to trust not in uncertain riches but in the living God so we're supposed to have trust in the living God we're supposed to have faith in the living God who see he's a who he's not a what he's not a it he's a who the living God the Holy Ghost is a person he is God he is a person we're supposed to trust in him who gives us 
richly all things to enjoy so we're supposed to trust in this true and living God and he is to give us richly all things to enjoy so we serve him I choose to be this because I'm trusting in the living God who does something for me what does he do some what does he do he gives me richly all things to enjoy all things yeah all things to enjoy isn't that good that's good news yeah all right let's go to second chronicles that's in the old testament now if you'll remember and there's you know if there's another message that i preached that talked a lot about the scriptures being weighted towards the holy ghost because this is his dispensation this is the the age in which the holy ghost is the only part of the godhead in the earth today so when you read verses that talk about lord and talk about god and if if it's not specifically mentioning the father or jesus then it is specifically and can be weighted toward and we could rightly assume that it's talking about the holy ghost second chronicles chapter 16 and verse 9 for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole where the whole earth who's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today well that's the Holy Ghost well he therefore it's his eyes that are to and fro throughout the whole earth he's in the earth he's to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong so why do we worship the Holy Ghost why are we Holy Ghost only well because we're worshiping a God who's a true and living God he's alive and he's in the earth and he's looking for ways to show himself strong on what on behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him now in other messages that I preach the number one way to have your heart perfect towards him is to worship him when you worship God your heart is perfect towards him and so if the living God is the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today and we say I worship you Holy Ghost that puts our heart in line with him perfectly and therefore he begins to be able to do things for us because he's looking to do it he's looking to do things for you and if you'll worship him he'll begin to do things for you I can't tell you the number of times when I've sat and maybe had a problem that was nagging me in my brain and I didn't know what to do without about it I didn't know what to do I didn't know what to do what am I gonna do what am I gonna do and when I stopped saying what am I gonna do and I sat there and I started saying I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost you're God in the earth today I am a worshiper of you then all of a sudden he starts to look at me now do I have scripture that say that he would look at me because I get the sense that he's looking at me yes his eyes are going to and fro he sees me my heart is perfect towards him and then he goes and does something for me and then that problem is taken care of time and time and time and time and time and time again it's a wonderful thing why would I why would I choose to be Holy Ghost only because I'm serving a living God who's in the earth today and I'm in the earth today therefore I need a God who's in the earth today that will do things for me that I can't do by myself and he delights in doing it for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in behalf of them whose hearts are perfect towards him yay he is God who's God the Holy Ghost is God he is a person right and we're supposed to worship him and so he and he's the only part of the Godhead who's in the earth today and we get to worship him isn't that good news let me just quote a couple of things here so I don't take up too much time Matthew 4:10 says thou shalt worship the Lord thy this is Jesus talking he said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve now remember I said that scriptures are weighted in our day and age to mean the Lord thy God would be specifically talking about the Holy Ghost or could be generally considered to be talking about him therefore when it says when Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve who would it be talking about it be talking about the Holy Ghost so we get to worship the Lord thy God the living God who does things for us and him 
only shall we serve and you wonder where well, where do you get the Holy Ghost only from well he says you're supposed to serve him only who do we serve only we serve the Lord our God and we worship him John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth he is the spirit of truth and when we worship the Holy Ghost we're worshiping God who is a spirit because the Holy Ghost is a spirit and we worship him in spirit and truth he is the spirit of truth let's turn over there we're answering the question why would I want to be Holy Ghost only I'm looking at all the other faiths out there there's lots of different faiths I could be this I could be that I could be this why would I choose to be Holy Ghost only well you know the reality of it is is if you start looking into scriptures and I covered this in another video then you can't but come to the conclusion that the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and therefore if I'm gonna serve God who's in the earth today then I will be serving him only beyond that you can make an intelligent decision uh, to follow the one who's gonna do something for you John chapter 16 and verse 7 this is Jesus talking nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient for you that I go away who's saying this Jesus is saying it he's saying it's gonna be expedient the world word means profitable it's gonna be beneficial and profitable for you if Jesus goes away for if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you the comforter is the Holy Ghost if Jesus departs which he did he will send the comforter to you and it will be profitable unto you what will be profitable unto you you following the Holy Ghost you receiving the Holy Ghost you being led by the Holy Ghost you worshiping the Holy Ghost is going to usher you into an age of prosperity of profiting of benefiting so why would I be Holy Ghost only because I am now profiting by my relationship with the one that Jesus sent doesn't that just displease Jesus no of course not it pleases Jesus because now I'm following the one that he sent if he didn't want me to follow him God in the earth today then he should not have sent him and he should not have left but not only did he, he not he he did that all intentionally he intentionally left and intentionally sent the another and so I'm supposed to follow him and that pleases Jesus you understand nevertheless I tell you the truth it's expedient for you that I go away if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you it's expedient meaning it's profitable why would I want to be Holy Ghost only because it's profitable to be Holy Ghost only it's profitable to be it's expedient to be it is beneficial to be walking with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today it's his age it's his dispensation at the, the moment that the Holy Ghost came into the earth that Jesus sent him we're now in the age and dispensation of the Holy Ghost and when I acknowledge that and enter into that and worship him as God in the earth today I begin profiting I begin benefiting I begin having the blessings and the promises of God come to me that couldn't come to me any other way Acts chapter 2 and verse 39 for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off even as many as the Lord our God shall call let's look back at verse 38 then Peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promise is unto you so the Holy Ghost here is called the promise when you receive the Holy Ghost you are receiving the promise why would I want to be Holy Ghost only because I have received the promise right 
now the promise is not just it's not just his name and hey, we're gonna call him the promise because it's a nice name no the promise is the is it, it, it means something all the promises of God in him are yes and amen and so we have the promise being the one who fulfills all the promises of God that's why it's the age and dispensation of prosperity you can call it that it's the dispensation of the Holy Ghost the day of the Holy Ghost the age of the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today and those who serve him and walk with him are walking in the age of prosperity they're in the age of the promise and the fulfillment of all the promises of God second Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20 for all the promises of God in him are yea and in him amen to the glory of God by us the glory of God who glory of God the Holy Ghost well what kind of promises are there any promises yes all the promises of God where he promises to heal you and he promises to prosper you and he promises what to give you all things to enjoy is that a promise trust in the who the living God who gives you richly all things to enjoy that's a promise how's that gonna be fulfilled by the living God that you're trusting in in his age in his dispensation in this day why would I want to be Holy Ghost only number one because he's the only God in the earth today that should be answer enough if you're going to walk with God you're going to have to walk with him the Holy Ghost there is no other God in the earth today there is no other. you can't find another one if you found another one he would be a false God or just a lie most likely a devil pretending to be God but he's not God there's only one God in the earth today and that's the Holy Ghost and so if I'm going to walk with God in the earth today it's going to have to be the Holy Ghost and then if, if he is God I'm going to worship him because he's God all right why would I want to be Holy Ghost only because the Holy Ghost is the only God who's in the earth today Two, it takes a true and living God to actually do something for you it's not just an accident when you walk with God and something happens he did it for you his eyes went to and fro throughout the whole earth and he showed himself strong on your behalf this is why you'd want to be Holy Ghost only because you're walking with the true God the only one who's in the earth today and he does things for you number three he is the promise and fulfills them all so whatever the promise is in this Bible Jesus bought and paid for it then then the Holy Ghost is the one who fulfills it and brings it to pass as you walk with the Holy Ghost in his word he brings every promise to pass in your life is this good that's how we're in the age of prosperity we're in the age of the Holy Ghost who's able to do all these things and bring them to pass richly for your enjoyment all things richly for your enjoyment Joshua 24 15 and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord choose you this day whom you will serve you have the choice you get to choose who you will serve why would I serve the Holy Ghost and worship him and be Holy Ghost only because the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead who's in the earth today he's the only true and living God who's in the earth he is true and he's alive which means he's the only one who's able to do things for you why would you be Holy Ghost only for those reasons and so by becoming Holy Ghost only you make a conscious and intelligent choice according to Joshua 24 15 you can intelligently and make a conscious choice to serve the living God the true and living God the one who's alive the one who's active in the earth looking to do things for you and if you listen he'll bring you up to a place where you can know him and walk with him in a way that you wouldn't even you wouldn't even fathom before and it'll be wonderful let me pray for you 
i pray for these wonderful people let them know you holy ghost move upon them right now thank you holy ghost he's moving upon people right now even in their their living rooms and in their homes and begin teaching them and instructing them in the ways of walking with the true and living god and i ask you to profit them holy ghost see them when they begin to open their mouth and worship you and say i worship you holy ghost begin moving on them and acting on their behalf and profiting them in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god in the earth today